Sky Squad, we are back in the building. And y'all, we got to talk about Kim Zosiak. She is at it again. And we got a whole lot more. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell button. And like this video if you like reality TV related content. Also, sure, 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 sure as the day is long. I need for you guys to go and pre-order my new book, The Wickedest Wives, book two in the series. It's called A Vicious Reality. It's all about Desiree and her cohorts as they continue their shenanigans, and it gets even more scandalous in book two. If you haven't picked up book one, you guys can get that on Amazon.com and Audible, and this is already on Amazon.com as a pre-order. Just click the link in the description of this video or click the QR code above and you guys, it will take you right to it. All right. Also, too, if you want to follow me in Geneva, in Switzerland, in Milan, all of those things, be sure to subscribe to my personal channel. You can get that information there. And if you guys, if you guys are interested in me doing a little group sort of trip, let me know. I have my travel agents on standby. Uh, if that is something that you guys want to do. I'm thinking maybe about 10 to 12 people. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a good number of people to like kind of keep together, expect luxury, expect fabulosity, because that's all we want to do. Okay. All 20, 20, 20 folk, Okay. So with that being said, let's talk the scammerization of it all, baby. Is it a scam? I don't know. You tell me. Our friends over at the Neighborhood Talk report that Kim Zosiak is back at it again. We have talked about this before on this channel with this clickbait, okay? I don't understand. I guess this is part of like some type of new money-making thing that the folks are doing that will... You know, what you do is you post something that is scandalous. I see, I've seen several reality stars who are no longer on their respective shows doing this sort of thing, and it grates my nerves every single time. So, if you look here, all right, I want you guys to pay attention. This is where the link leads when you click the link in the description after it says Kim it, it, asking for prayers. It's a celeb buzz article. That is basically about Kim speaking out about body cam footage of Croy and this whole messy divorce. Yes, girl, you do need our prayers. So perhaps it's not really clickbait. Perhaps it is indeed a prayer request, a call for help. But the problem for me is the photograph of you in, the, in a hospital bed basically with the tubes in your in your body okay making it seem as though somebody has put you in there or you have been diagnosed with some sort of illness go in some type of surgical procedure that is meant to save your life and then asking for prayers only for it to really be a link in the description of your video to an article that is not related to the post at hand, okay? And if it is, it's real. It's given real crazy because one would think also too, one could possibly think that what you are indicating or insinuating is that it was Croy that put you there. And if I was him, I would be highly upset at the clickbait of it all as well, unless he is in on the money making of it all as well, because you cannot pay me to believe that she ain't getting sort of some sort of financial incentive from this. I that is my opinion, that is my belief. Okay. Now, my problem with this is again the misleading nature of it all, leading fans to believe that you are in danger. Okay, you are in danger, girl. No, the only thing that you are in danger from is them creditors that is continuing to come after you and the 911 operators who should have blocked you all by now. But as 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 luck would have it, I'm sure they have not. And so you got these Atlanta PD and medical personnel, I am sure, and the 911 people stressed AF because you are misusing, okay, the system for your gain. Because you can't solve your problems. Get out the house then. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Okay? Because I don't want to hear no more about it.
All right, y'all. So let's let's get into the Martell of it all and these rumors that he was allegedly in a psychiatric ward. Oh, yes, indeed. All right. Martell is denying being placed in a psychiatric ward. OK, this is coming from my friends over at Urban Bell magazine. And there will be excerpts of this that are also taken from Impress Radio. I will place all the links in the description of this video if you guys are watching it on the YouTube. All right. So where do we begin? He is he is just about as frustrating to me as Kim, <laughs> as Kim and her crocodile tears, but I digress, all right? So apparently the rumors got so bad about him being in the psychiatric ward that he had to jump on the Instagram live to address all of these things. Oh, yes. Actually, I meant to see if it was still, if it was up there, because you know Martel will do a live and then it'll be gone, okay? And because... You know, um, you got again, you guys can tap into the link in the description to find this information. But yeah, that live is no longer is no longer there. I don't see it there no more. So anyway, so he hopped on Instagram live and he said, that's why I came live, because I heard I'm supposed to be in some type of facility or something. No, no. Apparently, it's really serious because my sister, my girl, Destiny, who we have talked about being a potential alleged new or returning filming addition to this season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, I suppose we'll find out soon because they've been doing teasers for Love and Marriage Huntsville during the episodes of Love and Marriage DC. And I'm like, Carlos, as Dr. Heavenly says. Actually, speaking of, let me before I get uh, before I dive too deep into that, y'all. I will be joining Doctor Heavenly tonight. Okay, tonight at seven p.m. We will be breaking down the hottest of the hot topics, and we will be getting all up into the things. So be sure to tap in, tune in, and get turned on tonight at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, with that being said, let's get back to it. All right. So anyway, he said, apparently it's really serious because my sister, my girl Destiny, called me and I didn't answer a couple of times. I returned her call and she was crying and things. She was literally crying. She thought I was in a mental institution or something like that. Guys, no, I am OK. So listen, stuff that y'all hear, don't go for it. Martel continue, but listen, back to what I was saying about the vloggers and the bloggers and other people out there who I'm a whole father of five. The things that they say affects certain things that I got going on that affects even my money, food I put on my kids table. I've been a father since day one and that's 12 plus years. I've been a great father. Then he told his the people on the live that he had been busy helping his children adjust to their extracurricular activities, including tennis and baseball. He was also at a tennis function to support their daughters. Now, in a separate and sometime, sometime later, I'm assuming in, a, in an Instagram post that is no longer there. Arion allegedly posted on her and you guys, if you go down into the. Uh, again, the description of this video, head on over to Empress Radio, okay, on, on, you, on YouTube. Arion posted a comment on her Instagram story that said, got to put your kids first in real life, not just for the internet. So, baby, is things rocky down to the Huntsville paradise betwixt Martell and Honey Bun, Arion Curry? Listen, I don't know. I don't know. But... Let me say this. You know, Martel wants to blame the vloggers and the bloggers for, you know, the things that occur to with him that put him in a space where he be losing out on a bag. I would wager to say 
Your greatest challenge, Martel, is yourself, okay? It is you and the things you do and say online and to the people and all of those types of things because it was your actions that landed you with the mugshot, okay? Those were actions that you took. It wasn't us. It wasn't the people reporting about it online. It was, it's you. It is you who says and does things on and off the show that usually lands you in some type of hot water, okay? So to blame the people for talking about the things that have occurred is unfair because usually these people are talking about the things that you say and do. And furthermore, these same vloggers and bloggers are helping to put food and money in your bank account because they are watching the show, driving people to watch the show, encouraging people to watch the show by way of speaking about your show that you are allegedly an actor on, that you told us that you were an actor on. You wrote that. It's in print. You said it, not us. Because I would be doggone it if there was a show that my name was a produ I, I listed as a producer that I'm going to ever bash. Period. Now, let's talk about Eva Marcel real quick. All right. So, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something I have learned over the course of time. And it really, I'm, I, I, not that I have learned it, but what I have done is become a lot more consciously aware about the commentary regarding women's bodies. Um, it is a thing that I think at this point in time, specifically as a man, I try not to do. You, the last thing that you ever want to do is comment to somebody that may have gained a little bit of weight. Oh, girl, is you pregnant? The last thing that you want to do is comment. Oh, when somebody lose a bunch of weight. Oh, Ozempic. That's the last thing that you want to do because you just never know what people have going on in their life and how they respond to the stresses of their life. And there is no greater indicator than that than this story here. Thanks to our friends over at the Bravo Shade Room, where we're going to be talking about Eva Marcel and what she had to say about her dramatic weight loss that everybody, you know, had the internet ablaze at one point in time. Now, I would like to think that people were concerned for her and thinking that maybe something was wrong, but indeed something was wrong. And that thing is called divorce. OK, she goes on to tell Tamron Hall that, you know, for some like, and for some people, they lose weight. Some people, they gain weight when they get stressed. It just depends on your body and how you function as a person. Right. So she goes on to tell Tamron Hall that this was a, the stress as it related to the divorce and trying to figure out who she was outside now of a marriage and a, a, being a wife. But now it's having to figure out, OK, I'm a mother no longer a wife. I'm an actor. I'm doing these shows. But who am I when the lights go down in the darkness of my room in the heat of the night? Now, I added in that last part because that's usually what we got to figure out who 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 the heck we is in those time periods when you ain't working, you ain't momming it up, you ain't dadding it up, you ain't at the job, you ain't clocking in and clocking out. Who are you when you hit that shower? When you lay your head down at night, who are you? That's a question. That's a good question. And having to navigate that, especially being in the public eye, I can only imagine the level of trauma because I am typically traumatized myself when I read the comments. And oftentimes I read comments that are extremely vitriolic and negative, and they will be from an account that has nothing but a ghost-like face 
on it. And it just, you know, it speaks a little bit to where we are as a society. And I think what we could do in instances like this, where we see someone has, there's some type of dramatic shift in maybe their appearance, is that maybe we stop and ask ourselves, hey, is this, maybe our sister's going through something. Some people, well, I'm sure, were curious. Some people, um, and, and she talked about people making negative comments, and that's where really I was, I was going with that. She was talking about all the negative comments and how much they hurt. So, I mean, I guess if there's anything that I could do or say right now to you guys to encourage you as you go about your day is, you know, try to give people a, a little bit of grace when you notice something like that. I saw this amazing movie uh held at the motion picture association last night shout out to my boy john for allowing several of us to also attend the screening of this movie it's called ordinary angel it's starring hillary swank and alan richmond alan richmond is he plays on the reacher for those of you guys who watch amazon um so if you've seen seasons one and season two very good and hillary swank and i think it's tamala what is her last? I cannot remember her last name. She was one of the one of uh, ooh, she was in my one of my favorite movies. Two can play that game. Anyway, let me tell you, such a good movie about this woman who finds out this man's daughter is sick and losing. You know, uh, they've lost the mother. The daughter's sick. The bills are piling up, and this ordinary woman who has it was battling some issues of her own does everything she can to rally this community around this family to help them and uplift them. Seeing movies like that and seeing things like that, it just really kind of makes you step back and think sometimes like, dang, like how can we be better? You know what I'm saying? So I know we get on here, we talk a little bit about the mess and that sort of thing like that. But at the end of the day, all of this is entertainment. It's supposed to be in fun. It's a great way to, you know, have a little break in your day. So Treat it as such, all right? Even for the Martells and the Kim Zosiacs out there who are continuously acting up, right? Send them some prayers. As Kim said, she wants your prayers. Dear Lord and Father in heaven, I pray right now that you just put your hand on Kim Zosiac and Croy and just heal them, hopefully, safely, apart from each other okay and away from the internet and the people down to the 911 we want you to give them grace and put your hand all up in that situation and heal it lord with that being said listen make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell button like this video if you like reality tv related content a little bit of righteousness mixed with a little bit of ratchet also be sure to get my book or pre-order it on amazon.com using the qr code on this page or in the description of this video with that being said i will catch you in the next one